God has a very 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 simple solution to our most complex problem and he has given that thing to every one of us so if i tell you there are so many i mean there are a uh, few common things that god has given each one of you have and you do not know how to use it you know for uh, to see the manifestation of the power of god so today we are going to learn power of agreement or in other words your belief system or how or you can call it a stronghold or a belief system or agreement so for example what happens you know uh, we hear like that system mentioned that uh, a reaction to uh, the instruction okay so basically we hear but do we always agree to what we hear okay so what happens is you know um, uh, there are so many people like uh, knowingly and unknowingly some time back somebody shared and they said you know uh, they mentioned about the sickness and you know whatever money that you are earning they are saying you are not earning it for your children you are not earning it for your old days but you are earning it for doctor and it is just a casual talk that i was doing with that uh, person and i did not you know disagree or it just that you know sinked in me or knowingly and knowingly i believed it and in some days time you know within few days i saw that my mother was not well and she was in the hospital and literally what he said okay those words that whatever you are earning or all your saving will go to doctor that is what happened all my saving that i had till that time everything was given to the doctor though i had an insurance from the company but you know a huge amount i had to pay from my pocket and there was a like a 90 or 80 percent of the amount was paid so many a times there are words there are sentences there are belief that are put put across to our hearing what do we do with that do we agree do we disagree do we say yes do we say no do we say amen or do we say no man it's up to us what are we believing because i'll tell you uh, brother johnson has a very very strong belief system you know he doesn't fall sick M- mosquitoes doesn't bite him and there are some people i've seen and even i am you know my belief system so even if i go in the rain i eat the ice cream i eat uh, all the cold things possible and i'll go in the rain and i can be in the rain for you know a, a very long time and i can come home have a cold water shower and i can be in the rain you know but i have a belief system that i will not fall sick but there will be someone with me who would be walking and the moment it starts raining he says you know i'm going to get a cold so the first defense mechanism in our body it's not our uh, the white blood cell but it is your uh, it is your belief system it is your belief system so my belief system tells me that i am not going to fall sick and that belief system prevents or does not allow that sickness to come into my body and that's how i have avoided so many problems in my life just by the belief system that is made or that is created or designed by the word of god praise the lord so if we have thomas thomas yes, thomas, brother. thomas. Yes, yes brother can you please say that again because this is the master key please take yes, that brother. example again. say it again because we don't want too many notes we want the key and this is a very very powerful key go ahead explain yes, it again brother. yes so um you know it's like i hear okay let's say i i, I hear uh, like if i ask is if i ask you what is the age when your uh, you know people started getting knee pain and people will say at generally at this and this age or we'll ask at what age do you think uh, you know your eyesight will go dim or at what age you know uh, your body strength will start uh, getting weaker and we will say in general you know we'll say at a, this age or at that age but actually what you are saying that's from the belief system so my belief system does not allow me to fall sick my belief system says as my days are so shall my strength be 1000 will fall at my side 10000 at my right hand but it will not come near and it is the belief system that i live with or the belief system that i have prepared designed uh, or i have renewed my mind 
that is what is preventing lot of sicknesses to come in my life praise the lord praise god uh, just one single thing you know uh, i mean one small thing i always used to come for uh, these uh, sessions and i would hear people giving testimony but there was no testimony in my life like recently or happening day to day life and i was saying god i am blessed so much that there are no testimonies and today what happened is <laughs> praise god so what happened is i was i was going for a, a prayer meeting in the afternoon i picked up my bag and my wife had kept her mobile her new mobile on my bag and i didn't know that so her mobile went down from second floor and we both realized that the mobile has fallen from the window oh dear so the first thing that came to my mind what it should uh, i mean the first thing that should come to my mind how many pieces will it oh. be in one piece or 10 piece or 20 piece but the first thing that came to my mind is job 110 uh we we english you know we say that uh, nailing is not the right word but in hindi we say khila thokke rakha i mean it is so grounded so grounded so grounded and i have shared so many testimonies job 110 says have the satan is telling god have you not put a fence around him all his household and all his things uh, yeah. have not you you know made an hedge about him and about his house and about all that he has on every side and thou has blessed the work of his hand and his substance is increased in the land and i knew there is a hedge around me my household my family and all my things and the moment we went to see what has happened with the mobile there is a grill and a half a inch uh, you know a strip kind of a thing and my mobile was hanging there it did not fall oh. down Praise the Lord. I Thank you, Jesus. I just touched my hand, and my wife, in fact, in fact, she, you know, uh, went down and she picked it up, and there was no damage, no, uh, no scratch, nothing. Praise Amen. the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So, our belief system is the first defense mechanism that God has given to us. I was uh, uh, listening to one word that I thought about. is called your mind needs to be in tuned to the word of god to the will of god to the principle of god to the faith of god to the love of god and i've heard it many a times you need to be in tuned to the holy spirit you need to be in tuned i said what is this in tuned so i remembered my childhood days and we used to have a radio and that we had to go manually change the button it used to be a huge button a little bigger okay and we had to go and roll that and as it was like you know there were like four or five channels that were there always present uh, at least by 10 or 11 11 o'clock pm india time so whenever we would start at the very very corner at very you know left uh, corner there would be very uh, you know kind of a noise going on i mean there's no channel around so there is there was a noise that was coming and we keep rolling that you know we keep a uh, tuning that and as we are reaching to a station okay then we could hear uh, music we could hear people talking we could hear people discussing and then we know we have reached to some channel and there would be four or five channels available in that radio okay now we had the choice okay we we want to go to vividh bharti we want to go to fm we want to go to this one we want to go to that one the tuning was in our hand okay any given time in any day of the day i mean any time of the day those five or six channels were always going on but we were tuning to which channel we wanted to tune so there were like regional channels with different languages there were some music channels there was some talk show there was some uh, you know uh, cooking recipes and that was going on so in our life every day there are so many channels are going on 
there is a cranky cranky noise coming there is uh, so much of things happening in the office there is a lot of turmoil that is happening in the ministry in the in the workplace in your in your children's life but you have the choice to tune your mind your thinking you have the choice there would be always four to five channels always running in your life but you can tune your mind you can set your mind you can uh, think on the things which are good pure lovely and of good report praise the lord be anxious for nothing but in everything let your request be made known to god with supplication and then he says six okay now let's look at this these are all that cranky channels that are going on okay and each channel like there's one there's a lot of noise there's a lot of um, fighting going on there's a lot of you know unsettled things trouble a lot of things are going on but this scripture is telling you please don't tune on those channel if you come across such a channel please pass on to the lord and move on to the channel that is ahead and that is the peace of god was seven the peace of god which surpasses all understanding you may not know how can you be at such a peace because you are fully trusting the lord and you have given all your anxiety and your worries you have casted that forcefully you have given it to the lord and that's what he says the peace of god will keep your heart and your mind through christ jesus in tuning your mind on the things of god you need to make a decision my belief system my thinking my tuning of my mind is my choice and that's what i said i am not telling you to fast for 40 days i am not telling you to pray for 10 hours a day or 12 hours a day because not all can do there are some who can do it but what i am telling you everyone can do it everyone does it every day it is very very simple but yet very 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 powerful you start tuning your mind your thoughts your pondering your considering on a daily basis on the channel that god has given you you know and nowadays there are numbers you just need to press the numbers and directly you are taken on that frequency but earlier we had to tune it we have to roll that uh, button and we would go from you know from uh, 10 to 20 then 30 then then by 40 and they come to 50 you know then there would be some noise then we go a little closer and then we had to find a lot of whistling yes 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 there would be a lot of whistling baba yes, and loud whistling correct and the frequency would not match 